Hi, welcome. I'm Mira from Florid Mira. Today's class is a Pilates for back pain relief. It's a fantastic class if you have that stubborn dull ache pain, back pain, after a long day of working sitting on a comfortable chair. Um, this class is not suitable if you are if you have osteoporosis and if you have this stubborn persistent back pain, I suggest that you consult to a physician to find out exactly what it is. Okay, so for this class, I'd like you to listen to your body and see if the movement feels comfortable for you. Okay, I'll give you some modifications uh, for any flexion uh, movement uh, that will probably be more comfortable if flexion is not, is contraindicated for your back. What we need for this class is a three cushion so i have three cushion here maybe you only need two you can also use pillow okay so let's grab those items and when you're ready come and join me back on a mat okay cut that right we're going to put the cushion aside for now and then we're going to start the class on our hands on your knees so remember i like it to really listen to your body while doing these exercises. All right, so have your shoulder and your hands in vertical alignment, but your pelvis is somewhere between your heels and your knees. Your chest is nice and open, so this is a modified quadruped position. Now, just staying in this position, strong arm, open chest, long spine. Inhale through the nose. As we exhale, I like you to just draw the abdominal muscle, lift them up towards the spine. But I want you to keep the length in the spine, maintain the length of the spine. So don't go towards flexion, not just yet. Inhale, expand the rib cage. Exhale, lifting up the abdominal muscles towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale, we lift the abdominal, open chest, long back, three more, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, Exhale. Now we have warmed up the abdominal muscle. Now I'd like you to take your spine into flexion if that feels comfortable for you. So here we go. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to draw the abdominal wall and draw the spine into flexion like a curve. And then lengthen the back to a nice flat back. And then take the upper back into an arch or extension. So we are mobilizing the spine now. Exhale, through the neutral, you go into flexion. And then through the neutral, into extension with the upper back. And exhale. Again, if flexion is contraindicated for you, or you don't feel comfortable doing this, you would just get rid of the flexion. So just pull the belly in, hold it, and then go into extension. And maybe you can do just a tiny little one, just a tiny and then back to the neutral and then take it into extension. So listen to your body and try to do what is best suiting for your spine today. All right, and then extend. And again, exhale, let's do two more. I'm gonna take it into a flexion here, deep flexion if you're comfortable with it. And now extend the upper back. And one more, exhale rounding and an inhale extending back to the center walk your hand a little bit more forward and bring your shoulder over your hand so you are in a quadruped position here so your shoulder and your elbows sorry your shoulders and your hands are aligned knees and your hips are aligned release the feet okay now again as you breathe out pull in the abdominal wall hold the spine here now Hold the spine. I want you to just shift the pelvis back to where you were and then bring your shoulder forward over your hands. And now shift the pelvis back, just rocking. 
and forward over your hands. And then shift the pelvis back, mobilizing the hip joint. And again, back. And then forward. Perhaps if you're comfortable, take your pelvis all the way down to your heels and back. That will take your pelvis into slight flexion. And forward. And again, down to the heels if you're comfortable with it. And forward. Two more. Back. And forward. Last one. And forward. And let that go. Now I'd like you to lie on your back. The best way to go on your back is to roll to the side of your body. And then roll onto your back. Okay. Now have your feet hip width distance apart. So what it means is about a fist between your heels and your toes. All right, arms long by the side, chest is open. Your pelvis should be in a position where you feel comfortable. So we call it a neutral pelvis, but perhaps today it's a little bit more towards flexion because that's where you're comfortable or slightly more anterior or forward in an arch. So just find where a position where you are really at ease here. Okay, now take an inhale. Exhale, draw the abdominal muscle in. Now I like you to again rock the pelvis. So use abdominal muscle to imprint the lower back down, the toots, the bottom, sorry, the pelvis comes up, and then release. So we're rocking. And then release. We're rocking the pelvis using the abdominal muscle. So create a little dent-like shape in the abdominal and then lengthen back to a starting position. And exhale again. If the flexion, this movement is uncomfortable for your back, go a little gentle one, small one, a small rock. It doesn't have to be big. Perhaps your lower spine doesn't touch the floor. If it's fine with you, go for it and imprint the lower spine. Let's do two more. We exhale and release. Last one, exhale and release. Now, let's take it further. We go into that rocking position. Press the feet. Now your lower back is on the floor now. Use the hamstrings, the muscle behind your thigh, and then peel the spine up to where you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna take it as high as I can, keeping in mind that my abdominal muscle is working hard to support my back. So I'm not arching my spine like so. I'm trying to create a beautiful straight line from my shoulder to my thigh. So perhaps take your hands, your arms forward and press the hips up. So your arms again, sorry, press the hips up against the arm and then release it down. If that doesn't feel good for you, just drop it down a little bit where it feels comfortable. And then we roll down. And again, we exhale, rock the pelvis. And then we press the feet. Then we roll up. Contract the abdominal muscle. Don't let the ribs expand out. Exhale, roll it down. Now, if this articulation doesn't feel good at all, I like it too. Just press the feet without rocking the pelvis. Lift the pelvis up. Hold in breath. And then roll the spine down or just lower the pelvis, take it down. All right, so if articulation or flexion doesn't feel good for you, just lift the pelvis up and hinge the pelvis down. If it's okay with you, articulate the spine up, holding in breath. Exhale, articulate the spine down. So choose one way that is that feels good for you, okay? So we are mobilizing our spine here. And exhale, and roll down. And let's go again, two more. Exhale, I know if you have a disc bulge, you're recovering from a disc bulge, and flexion is not really, it's contraindicated for you, but perhaps it's not, depending on which angle your disc bulge is at. Last one, and bring it up, and then take it down. All right, perfect. All right, now hold the pelvis, keep it stable, 
pull the belly in. Now, we're going to take the right leg up to tabletop. Right, the pelvis should stay stable, not arching or flexioning down or pressing down as you lift the leg down. So we go lower and then bring it up. So we work in the abdominal muscle here, firing up so that the abdominal wall can support the lower spine. We go down, exhale. We go down, exhale. Last one and stay up. Press the right hand against the right thigh. Press the thigh up as you push the hand down. You're going to activate the oblique on the right side. We stay, three, two, one, release. One more time. We press down as you press up. Three, two, one, and release the leg down. Over to the left leg, stabilize the pelvis, and we go up and down. Movement come from the hip joint, not by kicking the leg up, yeah? Not by moving the knee up and down. And, and bring it up, and lower, and up, and lower, and up. Two more. Last one, we hold, left hand, left thigh. We press up as you push down, activating the left oblique, three, two, one, and release. Making sure the belly doesn't bulge out here. We exhale, press down, push up, hold three, two, one, and brilliant. All right, let's take the right leg up again. And then let's take the left leg up. So we've got double tabletop here, we're using the abdominal muscle, and let's go to leg changes. We lower, and then we switch. So a bit more demanding on the abdominal muscle, on the core. But it's a good one to really work that deep transverse abdominal muscle so that it can stabilize and support your lumbar spine. We exhale. Two more sets. Last one. Draw legs up to tabletop. Lower one foot down, second leg down, squeezing the legs together. We're going to open your arms up to a T position here. All right, so your inner thighs are working, bringing the legs together. We are going to do some rotation around the waistline. So we're going to go to the right first. We inhale. As we rotate to the right, the legs stay together. Now, Control the movement, pull your legs back into the center. Inhale, so I want you to keep the legs together tightly and not drop it down to the floor here, okay? And come back, so you may not go far. That's okay, it's about control and position here. Exhale, rotating from the waist, shoulders stay down on the floor, exhale. And over to the right as we in-breath. Exhale. Over to the left as you in-breath. Exhale. One more each side to the right. We exhale. Last one to the left. We exhale. And release. And turn your body towards me. So we're going to face the side. Stack the legs together. Interlacing your hands behind your head. Now your feet will be in alignment with your spine, your knees will be together. Here, you are going to lift the underneath waistline, so we're not slouching the ribs and the hips, sorry, the waist. Now here, we're going to go into chest, exp um, chest opener, excuse me, we open the elbow, and then we rotate back behind you. And then we close, and then we turn. Inhale, and open, exhale, two more, inhale, open, exhale, last one, inhale, open, exhale, well done, okay. Top hand in front of you, bottom arm long underneath you. Let's work the hip joint. So working the muscle to stabilize the pelvis. So moving to our clan, we open the knee and then we close. And our two. So as you do this, I want you to really stabilize the pelvis and lower back. 
and four. You can place your hands in front of you like so, or on the hip. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, last one, ten. Okay, we stretch the top leg long, bringing the bottom foot forward here. All right, reaching the hip away, making sure the top and the bottom pelvis is aligned. Then we take the top leg up, and then we lower. And then we take it up, and then lower. On two, lower. Three, relax the foot. And four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. We hold, we're gonna take it forward, and then up, and then down, and then back, and a two, up, down, back, and a three, up, down, back, and a four, up, and back, and a five, up, and back, and six, Let's do 10 here. And seven. And eight. And nine. Last one and 10. Okay, let's take the leg forward and up. Let's drop it down. Drop and lift. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. Last 10, take it up, bring it back, and release it down. Well done. Bend the knee, you can give your little booty a little hammer there, release the muscle, and then go ahead, lie on your back for a glute stretch. So we're gonna take the leg that we just work up. All right, open the thigh out. Let's bring the other leg up off the floor. Grab the back of your thigh, drop the foot, and then, we're going to use the right elbow to push the right thigh out. Okay, so keeping the chest open, we in breath. Exhale. Again, in breath. Exhale, try to keep the pelvis down on the floor here. And in breath. And exhale and release let the leg go turn to your side and help yourself up and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so you're probably feeling that glute muscle aching now which is good for you we want to have strong glutes to support the back so going up to our chest opener okay stack up the legs feet aligned with the spine Okay, lifting the underneath waist, and we go inhale, open. Exhale, we close. Inhale, exhale, and in breath. Exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, and release. Let the arm go and stand underneath, arm long underneath you. And let's go to our climb. We open and close. Pelvis is stable too. And close. And three. Remember not to slouch down on the underneath waist. So keep lifting the waistline up. And again, five and six and seven and eight nine lucky last ten all right extend the top leg bring the bottom leg forward a little bit okay let's go into a leg lift so we go up relax the foot and then two i cannot emphasize how important it is to have strong glutes strong hip extensors so that to alleviate the pain of from your lower back so this is one of the exercises that you can do every day to strengthen the gluteals, the bottom muscle. And of course, I lost count, two more. And the last one, let's go forward. Forward, up, down, and back. And a two, up, 
down and back and a three up down back four and five six seven eight nine and ten all right we've got the forward lift and the dropping catches now and we go down and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight nine ten up back and lower well done bend the knee give you a little bump a little hammer here and then lie on your back all right, we're going to do the gluteal stretch. So bring the leg that you just work up onto the other thigh. In external rotation, bring the right leg up, the bottom leg up, and then grab thigh with your hands and then using the left elbow to push the left thigh. So I'm stretching my left glute here because I just worked my left leg. So I'm using my left arm to push my left thigh out and using my hands to pull my right thigh to my chest. And I'm trying to keep the pelvis down as much as you can here. We breathe out. Allow the body to melt. And an inhale. Exhale. And inhale. One more. And in breath. And let it go. Okay, release the leg. Turn to your side and then roll to your front for some back extensors work. So onto a diamond arm, diamond press arm position. I have my left hand underneath, my right hand stacked up on top. Now with this extension, what's important is for you to activate the leg muscle and also the abdominal muscle so that your lower spine doesn't sink down. So I want that lower spine to be long, reaching away, right? The pelvis to be going down towards the legs. Abs in, hamstrings are active here. Right, so now that you have those, we're going to draw the shoulder blades down as you inhale. And then going to articulate the spine up from the tip of the head and the neck and then the upper back and then the middle back. Now, as you come up into extension, you don't collapse in the lower back. You still activating your abdominal muscle to support your lower spine. And we go down. And we inhale to come at shoulder blades down, reaching the tip of the head. The neck is long, the upper back, the middle back. So your upper back, middle back muscles are working here. My abdomen is working. My legs muscles are working. My lower spine is long. And down. Not compressed. Again, inhale. Shoulder blades down. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Exhale. And down. Three more. Inhale. We lift. Up, up, up. Exhale. We come down. And again, inhale. Lifting. Up, up, up. And exhale. We go down. Well done. Let's take your arms on the side of your shoulder. Push the floor away with the forearm, pull the belly in, bring your body to a rest position. So bring the bottom to your heel and stretch your arms long. You can rock the pelvis side to side if you like to. And then come back to a stop and then in breath. Exhale. And the next exhalation, we're going to roll the spine up. Exhale. And we roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Okay. This is when, where we are going to take our cushions or our pillows here. So I have three here. You can use two or three. You can use a cushion. You can use pillow. So this is my favorite 
stretch or exercise. I won't say exercise, it's more like a stretch. It's a, you know, it's a spinal, lumbar spinal, lower spine release. So I like you to sit in a um, diamond leg position. The spine is long. All you need to do is just relax, which is fantastic. So bring the cushion closer to your pelvis. Lock it in. I normally hold it with my hand here. And then slowly take your body over the cushion or the pillow. Now, if three cushion is too much for you, you can drop it down to two. Drop the head down. All right. You either can interlace your hand, place it underneath at the back of the head and have the chest open like so. Or you can just allow the head to dangle and stretch your arms overhead. So three cushion is quite a tall position. Again, you can drop it to two, maybe one, okay? So choose a height, choose the number of pillows or cushion that is best for you today, okay? And then join me if you haven't in this position. And now here, it's really not hard at all. All you need to do is just relax and breathe. All right, so inhaling through the nose, allow the rib cage to expand, allow the belly to expand naturally. Exhale, expel all the stale air out of your body through the mouth. Inhaling, you feel the rib cage pressing into the cushion or the pillow as you inhale. That's a good thing. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. You should feel comfortable here. If you are not comfortable for any reason, perhaps you're too high in the arch, drop it down. Then reduce the cushion or the pillow. And I'm going to do two more times and you are welcome to stay longer. And one more. Okay, again, you're welcome to stay longer, continue breathing, but I'm going to come up. So to come up, I'm going to take my right knee towards my left. So I'm going to fold them. I'm going to drop my body carefully to the left side. And you can stay in the side lying position for a second. And then slowly and gradually help yourself up to seated position okay that's all we have for today i hope you had a lovely class and i hope to see you again on the mat have a great day congratulations on completing the class well done i'm mira and i'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through pilates if you enjoyed this video you will love my free better postures in five days program Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.